Hey everybody, I'm Christopher Green. You're tuning in to AMTV Alternative Media Television. It is, of course, Tuesday, June 3rd, 2014, and proving once again that we are on the precipice of an imminent financial collapse. Steve Forbes of the famous magazine says, link the dollar to gold or face a Great Depression too. Many of you know who Steve Forbes is. Again, the president and CEO of Forbes Inc. Influential financial publisher and former presidential candidate Steve Forbes is out with a new warning that the U.S. faces an impending economic catastrophe due to the Federal Reserve's loose dollar policy, loose like a hooker, and returning to a strict gold standard is the only way to avoid disaster. In Money, his new book, How the Destruction of the Dollar Threatens the Global Economy and What We Can Do About It, Forbes blames President Obama's money team for the stagnant economy, high prices, declining mobility, and big government. He says specifically that the Fed's vastly misguided monetary policies are now setting the stage for a new economic and social collapse, one that could rival the financial crisis and horrors of the 1930s, he wrote in the book co-authored by Elizabeth Ames. You know, extremely telling, folks, that a figure, the head of Forbes, would be issuing a warning at a time of all-time highs and all-time lows, all-time highs in the stock market and all-time lows in interest rates, uh, saying and warning, like many people have, that we are on the precipice of an imminent financial collapse that could potentially be much worse than the 1930s Great Depression. UK home prices, in the meantime, have surpassed their 2007 peak before the 2008 financial collapse, hitting a brand new record, according to Bloomberg. We're seeing similarities in the U.S. housing market as well. UK house prices rose to a record last month, and recent indications of a slowdown in the market may prove short-lived, according to Nationwide Building Society. Values increased 0.7% from April to an average 186,000 pounds, the equivalent of 312,000 U.S. dollars. That's just above the previous peak of 186,000 pounds, reached in October 2007, a month after the near collapse of Northern Rock as well as pretty much every major Wall Street firm here in the United States of America. Of course, this was met by trillion dollar bailouts. Companies and big, too big to fail banks like Bank of America were given uh, $45 billion worth of TARP funds paid by taxpayers so that we've guaranteed indebtedness and a future financial collapse for our children's children. Again, all of these ominous warning signs of a uh, recent record Dow Jones Industrial Average S&P 500 in the midst of record low interest rates that are clearly unsustainable. Steve Forbes isn't the only one that thinks so. In the U.S. in the meantime, all cash deals for real estate hitting a record 43% of total home sales. That's almost half of all home sales in the United States of America. In the meantime, the buyers of which are mostly investors, the top 0.01% coming in with cash deals to rent out these homes to everybody else that can't afford to own or buy a home. Again, home ownership actually on the decline while record all cash deals on the incline totaling about half of all sales in the United States of America. Absolutely amazing. In the meantime, the Wall Street criminals, the John Corzines and Goldman Sachs thugs that make billions of dollars by screwing you over and taking bailouts at the Federal Open Market uh, Committee window are upgrading to the good life, saying they've got to have violin-shaped illuminated pools uh, in order to pr impress uh, their other Wall Street friends. You can see some of the lavish and outlandish pictures, photographs of these amazing properties and their pools owned by these Wall Street criminals that, again, make all of their money scamming you, the little guy, and accepting bailouts. Some of which, and some of them, are even going as far as to invest millions of dollars into vitamin C-infused showers. Yes, that's correct, folks. That's how elitist some of these scumbags are. They're actually bathing, like Michael Jackson, in vitamin C-infused water. These luxuries are costing upwards of $3 million dollars to build on basically just frivolous bullshit. Again, while the economic picture struggles ahead and actual real long-term growth is at all-time lows, the stock market is artificially pumped by the Federal Reserve and 0% interest rates. A Wall Street whores and accomplices like former Federal Reserve Chairman Ben Bernanke and current chairwoman Mrs. Yellen 
boost this artificial reality into infinity, of course, until the next collapse. Also, a Manhattan condo priced at a record $110 million in the famous historic Woolworth building, also proving that we may in fact be at a second top, bigger, bolder, and badder, and perhaps more catastrophic than what we experienced in 2008, according to Steve Forbes of Forbes Magazine. Silicon Valley rents also skyrocketing as of late with big technology in the San Francisco Bay Area, basically pricing out the little guy from actually owning or even renting real estate. There's a lot of talk about the red-hot re residential real estate market in Silicon Valley, but commercial prices are also soaring. So both residential and commercial prices soaring almost to infinity in a brand new new bubble here in the financial markets in the United States of America and abroad in places like the UK. Again, Steve Forbes warning of an imminent financial collapse unless the Federal Reserve link the dollar to gold immediately or perhaps face the Great Depression too, worse than the 1930s. All of this, of course, incredibly inflated by the Federal Reserve, an entity that is actually now more concerned about market manipulation and bailouts than they are maintaining price stability or full employment. And all you need to see to prove this is just take a look at U.S. Treasury yields, again at all-time lows, even after five years of a record climbing Dow and S&P 500. Stock prices at literal all-time highs and still interest rates at all-time lows because they cannot raise them. Otherwise, the entire U.S. financial system, which is structurally built on a foundation of sand, will collapse and the United States will literally burn to the ground overnight. The 10-year Treasury being watched as of late by Wall Street insiders at a 2.59% record low rate in the 30-year at less than 35 All of this translating into mortgage rates, by the way, on the 30-year, which are at 4%, almost 4%, almost eclipsing what we saw post-2008, yet still basically a shoddy recovery um, from where we once were in hard-hit states in the real estate market, places like Phoenix, Arizona, our home state, and Las Vegas, Nevada. Again, all of this coming to an American reality TV show, a real one, uh, in the not-too-distant future, according to people like Steve Forbes, who are warning all Americans that we are in a new bubble, and are positioned for a more catastrophic financial collapse in the not-too-distant future. I'm Christopher Green. Get this out everywhere. Make it viral, hard-hitting it in your face, and click the link below to support our sponsor.